Okay, so um, thank you so much for, for volunteering. I got from you that you wanted to work on, on something that's happening with your throat. Yes. Can you describe that for me? Um, it's an issue when I'm teaching classes or leading meditation or any time that I need my voice really um, working well and that I'll just have this <clears throat> need to clear my throat a lot. And I've tried going off of dairy to see if that helps, you know, trying to find if there's a physical component and I haven't found one, okay. but it does appear to be worse when I need it the most. Okay. Okay. And um, the th I'm wondering, is there anything that we could do in this kind of artificial setting where we could actually make that happen? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, I do have another meditation I want to record, so I could be just thinking about doing that. Um, do you have it? In, do you have like the script or something? Notes? I, I don't have it that put together yet. So. <laughs> okay. Um, is there one that you already have recorded that you have notes on? Um, yes. Okay. Hang on. Let me. So I did a program. Um, gosh, I guess it was in April mm -hmm. that I called a money manifestation thing that I'd like to redo. And so I want to, um, Rework on it. Hang on, I'm pulling it up on Docs. Um, it's been a while, so hang on a second. Okay. All right, and, and as you're looking that over and as I've asked you to go take a look at it and find it, um, and you're about to read it. Is there anything happening right now in your throat at all? Yeah, I just felt a need to clear my throat. I mean, not just uh, not like, <clears throat> but I had to swallow. Okay, so so tune into that 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 feeling in your throat and just describe best you can just the physical sensation. Um, a little bit closing, a little tight. Um, my voice sounds more scratchy to me already. Okay. And it feels a little bit harder to talk. And there's, you didn't ask for this yet, but there's fear. Okay. Related to it. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate um, chasing the pain with you. So, okay. Um, and for those of you that are watching, this is kind of an artificial environment because, you know, I, I'm, I'm working with someone that knows the techniques pretty well and what I'm going to be asking for and all of that. But I'm going to just um, put aside the emotion that you just gave me and focus just on that tight feeling in your throat, the scratchiness, hard to talk. Um, is there a size with that that's happening in your throat right now? Just thinking about that. Well, there's, there's constriction. And how big is that constriction? Um, so if you think of your throat as a tube, I would say if it was, um, I'm trying to think what to compare that to, uh, hmm. <laughs> what, what, let's see how big, what is something that's that size? Uh, I'm going to say two inch diameter that now it's gone down to maybe an inch to an inch and a half. Okay. One inch to an inch and a half and is and you're doing this is it a circle yes because it's like a tube and it, the tube has gotten more closed got it is there a temperature with that or a color with that or a or a weight to that um the color is a mixture of black and red mm -hmm. and there's a scratchiness which i guess is I'll just say a scratchiness. Okay. Um, and um, let's see, texture would be bumpy, uneven. Uh, yeah, and it feels almost like it's um, like a blob kind of thing. Okay. 
And how, um, how intense is that physical sensation only? Just zero to 10, 10 really high, it's pretty strong. Zero, it's not, you're not feeling it at all. Seven. Okay. All right, so let's do some tapping on this. Okay. And if I ask you to repeat anything that doesn't sound true, you want to say it in a different way, something else pops up, by all means, just interrupt me, correct me. I really want to use your words as much as I can. All right. Thank you. Okay. So even though I have this sensation in my throat. Even though I have this sensation in my throat. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. It's closing. It's closing. There's scratchiness. There's scratchiness. Constriction in this tube constriction in this tube that's an inch to an inch and a half in diameter that's an inch to an inch and a half in diameter and it's black and red and it's black and red it's bumpy and uneven <sighs> it's bumpy and uneven and there's a blob kind of thing and there's a blob kind of thing i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself even though i have this tight uh closing in my throat even though I have this tight closing in my throat. There's all this scratchiness. There's all this scratchiness. This constriction in the tube. This constriction in the tube. That's about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. That's about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. And it's black and red. And it's black and red. And bumpy and uneven. Bumpy and uneven. It's a blob kind of thing. It's a blob kind of thing. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's a little closing in my throat. <sighs> Even though there's a little closing in my throat. Tight and scratchy. Tight and scratchy. It's about an inch to an inch and a half. <coughs> Mary, it's about a, yeah, it's about an inch to an inch and a half. And it's black and red and bumpy. And it's black and red and bumpy. It's a blob kind of thing. It's a blob kind of thing. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. There's this blob kind of thing happening in my throat. <sighs> There's this blob kind of thing happening in my throat. There's this scratchiness and constriction. There's this scratchiness and constriction. It's a little tight and it's closing. It's a little tight and it's closing. This constriction in the tube. This constriction in the tube. It's about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. It's about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. It's black and red and bumpy. It's black and red and bumpy. This uneven blob kind of thing. This uneven blob kind of thing. This scratchiness and constriction in the tube of my throat. This scratchiness and constriction in the tube of my throat. It's bumpy and uneven. It's bumpy and uneven. Okay. So now again, I just want you to tune into the physical sensation of what's happening there and describe it. What's changed? Um, well, I just had to clear my throat again. Um, I'm feeling like my mouth is dry. My throat's dry. Um, okay. The, it doesn't feel as constricted though. Okay. So I'd say it's back feeling like it's two inches, like it's fully open. Okay. Um, the color is lighter, so more of a grayish pink. Okay. Not really getting the sense of the blobby thing now, but there's still bumpy, scratchy sensation. Okay. And um, if it was a seven before, what is it now in terms of intensity of sensation? Um, four is what's coming to mind. All right, so let's try to bring that down even further. So even though, even though my mouth and throat are dry, my mouth and throat are dry, there's this bumpy, scratchy, uneven thing happening. <sighs> there's this bumpy, scratchy, uneven thing happening. It's gray and pink. <clears throat> it's gray and pink. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's this gray, pink, bumpy, Thing happening in my throat even though there's this gray pink bumpy thing happening in my throat it's scratchy and it's in my mouth and my throat are dry it's scratchy and my mouth and my throat are dry I deeply and completely accept myself I deeply and completely accept myself even though my mouth and throat are dry are dry 
even though my mouth and throat are dry. And it's gray and pink. And it's gray and pink. It's bumpy and it's scratchy. It's bumpy and it's scratchy. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. My mouth and throat are dry. My mouth and throat are dry. It's gray and pink. It's gray and pink. It's bumpy and scratchy. It's bumpy and scratchy. This uneven thing happening in my throat. This uneven thing happening in my throat. My mouth and throat are dry. My mouth and throat are dry. It's gray and pink. It's gray and pink. It's bumpy and scratchy. It's bumpy and scratchy. My mouth and throat are dry. <sighs> my mouth and throat are dry. And it's gray and pink and bumpy. It's gray and pink and bumpy. <clears throat> okay. Um, get some water. Yeah. <clears throat> it's interesting that it's coming up more. <laughs> yeah. It's still a, about a level four in terms of throat and mouth are dry, gray, pink, bumpy, scratchy. Anything change? Well, as soon as I started clearing my throat, it's kind of weird because it felt like it bumped up to a six. Okay. But when I started talking and noticed that my voice doesn't sound as scratchy, it's like, oh, okay, maybe it's not as bad. So now I'm kind of checking back in. And it's feeling more like a three. Okay. So with the goal of chasing the pain, we really want to bring that down to a three, two, one, or zero before we continue. And I think it'll be more helpful if we actually do get into what this is about instead of just bringing down the physical sensation. Okay. You mentioned the emotion fear. And mm -hmm. so what do you think that's about? What do you think is connected to that? Fear of not being good enough, that I'm not going to do it right. It's not going to be good enough. I'm going to feel judged. All of that. Okay. So I want you to look back on the, the uh, document that you have. Okay. And thinking about reading that, mm -hmm. does that come up or something else? Oh, absolutely. I feel like if I started reading it, that, that you would go, oh, you're going to read that in front of people. Okay. So there's definitely a not good enough component. And is it still fear? Yeah. Yeah. The fear of not being good enough okay. and rejection, fear of being rejected and judged. So it's all, yeah, it's fear. It's just all those things. Being judged is probably the biggest one. Fear okay. of being judged. Okay. And so I'm going to narrow it down to your fear of me judging you. Okay. And zero to 10 on that. Fear of you judging me. Um, that's a 10. Ooh. Okay. Let's yeah, that's, that's scary. Now, do you feel it anywhere in your body? Yeah. As soon as I started talking about that, my chest constricted. It was just this, ah. All right. So even though I feel all of this fear in my chest, <sighs> even though I feel all this fear in my chest, that I'm going to read this thing, that I'm going to read this thing, and you're going to judge me, and you're going to judge me, I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this fear in my chest, even though I feel all this fear in my chest, when I'm going to start reading this. When I start reading this, it's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be good enough. And you're going to judge me. And you're going to judge me. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this fear in my chest. Even though I feel all this fear in my chest. That I'm going to be judged by you. That I'm going to be judged by you. This isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This fear in my chest. <sighs> this fear in my chest. 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 
This fear in my chest. This fear in my chest. This fear in my chest. This fear in my chest. This fear in my chest. <sighs> okay. Zero to ten on the fear that you're going to start reading that and I'm going to judge you. It's really not good enough. Yeah, it's still pretty high. It's an eight. Okay. Still in your chest? Mainly. There's also a little bit of churning in my stomach. Okay. All right. Even though I feel this remaining fear in my stomach and chest. Even though I feel this remaining fear in my stomach and chest. Then I'm going to start reading this. That I'm going to start reading this. And you're going to judge me. And you're going to judge me. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this fear in my chest and stomach. <sighs> Even though I feel all this fear in my chest and stomach. I'm going to start reading this. I'm going to start reading this. And I'm going to be judged by you. And I'm going to be judged by you. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I have to tell you, I just had the thought, I don't care what you think. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. So let's just check now. <laughs> well, it's feeling a little funny to me now. It's like, that should so? be. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So I want you to think about reading that. And is there okay. still any, is there any fear related to being judged or something else? Um, yes, I would say there's still a fear. Let me think. There's still a fear of not being good enough. And I'd say it's mm, four to five now. But it's a sense of not so much you judging it as me judging it. Like I'll feel this need to keep perfecting it and keep perfecting it and keep redoing it. And, and I'll have to do it over and over and over until it's perfect. Whatever that is, whatever perfect is. Okay. And so fear, and you say that's about a four or five. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? That's in my stomach. Okay. All right, so even though I feel this fear in my stomach. Even though I feel this fear in my stomach. That I'm going to read this and it's not good enough. I'm going to read this and it's not going to be good enough. I'm going to need to keep perfecting it. I'm going to need to keep perfecting it. Making it better and better. Making it better and better. Trying to make it perfect. Trying to make it perfect. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. Even though I feel all this fear in my stomach. I'm going to read this and it's not good enough. I'm going to read this and it's not good enough. I'm going to want to keep perfecting it. I'm going to want to keep perfecting it. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear. Even though I feel all of this fear. Just thinking about reading this. Just thinking about reading this. It's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be good enough. I'm going to want to keep perfecting it. I'm going to want to keep perfecting it. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This fear in my stomach. 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 Okay, so I have to tell you the thought that popped up. Yeah. Um, well, I just did a Joe Dispenza progressive workshop this weekend yeah. and talk about having meditation perfected. Yeah. So I started thinking, I'll never be that good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And my next thought was, why am I even going to bother to do a meditation? Because I'll never be that good. Okay. And what's the emotion with that? Still back to that not good enough. It's not as much fear as it is. Um, yeah, I'm not good enough. Okay. Um, and how strong is that? Oddly, it's not that strong. Okay. Um. I'm going to give it a three. Okay. So even though I don't feel it's good enough. Even though I don't feel it's good enough. I'll never be good as good as that. 
I'll never be good as that. I'll never be as good as Dr. Joe's meditation. <laughs> I'll never be as good as Dr. Joe's meditation. So why bother? So why bother? I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this feeling that I'm not good enough. <sighs> Even though I have this feeling that I'm not good enough. When I look at my meditation. When I look at my meditation. Why bother? Why bother? I'll never be as good as Dr. Joe. I'll never be as good as Dr. Joe. I deeply and completely accept myself. I'll deeply and, I <laughs> deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not going to be good enough. Even though I'm not going to be good enough. Just looking at my meditation. Just looking at my meditation. I'll never be that good. I'll never be that good. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I'll never be that good. I'll never be that good. I'll never be that good. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Why even bother? Why even bother? Why even bother? Why even bother? Why bother? Why bother? I'll never be as good as that. 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 Well, the thought that went into my mind is, well, he had this fabulous music and the lights and the, you know, he's got the whole production team working with him and thinking, uh -huh. well, hell yeah, if I had the, whatever he uses to make the sound kind of vibrate and whatever, like, that would make a big difference. So, <laughs> okay. So maybe it is possible. Okay. That's good. So I want you to look back on your meditation mm -hmm. and look at it now. Mm -hmm. and tell me how you're feeling. A lot more confident. Okay. A lot right. more possible. Yeah. Okay. And so guess what I'm going to ask you to do? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is it, is, it a, uh, is it a real oh, shit? Or is it just, that's just like a reflex that, to say that? <sighs> no, the fear came back. The, okay. oh, no. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't be doing my job if I just left it at that and didn't thoroughly check. So <laughs> here, let's try to identify what that is. What is the fear about now? Um, Read it and what? What if it sounds stupid? What if I sound stupid? Okay. All right. And I'm going to ask you, have you had this, this, this thing before this? Oh, yeah. That it's not good enough or I'm going to sound stupid. Oh yeah. Very old thing. Very old. All right. Can you give me an, an earlier example from your life that you think this might be related to? What popped into my mind was I think I was 11, 12 and I wanted to be in a ballet, and the role that I was given was of playing a king. So it was a male role to begin with, and my role was supposed to be funny, and I was supposed to jump up and down and act angry. And I was really upset about, I wanted to dance, I wanted to be a ballerina, and my thought was, they think I'm so bad that they would rather me be a... Um, laughing stock and I ended up quitting I didn't do it I just couldn't be in front of everybody and be a laughing stock right okay and so I want you to think about that moment when you found out that was the role that you were given mm -hmm. and are you feeling anything right now about that Yeah, embarrassment and just oh, everybody's gonna laugh at me fear of being laughed at big time okay and how strong is that embarrassment and fear of being laughed at? It's an eight. It's big. And do you feel that anywhere in your body? Um, solar plexus. Okay. All right. Even though I feel all of this fear in my solar plexus. Even though I feel all this fear in my solar plexus. I wanted to be um, dancing. I wanted to be dancing. And instead, they have just told me that I have to be the laughing stock. Instead, they told me I have to be the laughing stock. And I feel all this fear of being laughed at. And I feel all this fear of being laughed at. I deeply and completely accept myself. 
I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this embarrassment in my solar plexus. Even though I feel all this embarrassment in my solar plexus. I must be so bad. I must be so bad. That they're not letting me dance. That they're not letting me dance. I have to be the laughing stock. I have to be the laughing stock. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear of being laughed at. Even though I feel all this fear of being laughed at. All this embarrassment in my solar plexus. <sighs> all this embarrassment in my solar plexus. I must be so bad that they don't want me to dance. I must be so bad that they don't want me to dance. I'm supposed to be the laughing stock. I'm supposed to be the laughing stock. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this fear and embarrassment. 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 This fear and embarrassment in my solar plexus. <sighs> this fear and embarrassment in my solar plexus. Afraid that they're going to laugh at me. Afraid that they're going to laugh at me. I must be so bad that they don't want me to dance. I must be so bad that they don't want me to dance. They want me to be the laughing stock. They want me to be the laughing stock and I know they're going to laugh at me. Oh, okay. And I know they're going to laugh at me. All of this fear and embarrassment. All of this fear and embarrassment. They want me to be the laughing stock. They want me to be the laughing stock. All this fear and embarrassment in my solar plexus. All this fear and embarrassment in my solar plexus. I have to tell you, the fear is still there. There's still the fear of being laughed at. Okay. And is it still an eight? Um, yeah. Okay. Even though I feel this fear, is it still in your solar plexus? Uh, it's lower. It's more in my stomach now. Okay. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. And I will be laughed at. And I will be laughed at. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. And I will be laughed at. And I will be laughed at. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear in my stomach. Even though I feel all this fear in my stomach. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. And I will be laughed at. And I will be laughed at. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this fear in my stomach. 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 They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. And I will be laughed at. And I will be laughed at. All this fear in my stomach. All this fear in my stomach. I will be laughed at. I will be laughed at. All this fear in my stomach. All this fear in my stomach. I will be laughed at. 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 Yeah, I never got the hang of comedy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, thinking about that now. A um, much calmer... Um, uh, it's feeling safer. Okay. And is the fear still there in your stomach? Yeah, but it's three or four. Okay. All right. And so we're still thinking about the ballet. They told you that you're going to have this role. You're going to be the laughing stock. You will get laughed at. Well, I think part of what's important here is that I quit. Um, okay. That I that I wasn't willing to be laughed at, so I quit. And I think that plays out today with not taking chances. It's easier to quit than the chance being laughed at. Okay. All right. So even though I still feel some remaining fear. Even though I still feel some remaining fear. That I'll be laughed at. That I'll be laughed at. You did quit. I did quit. I wasn't laughed at. I wasn't laughed at. Even though I feel this fear. Even though I feel this fear. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They just told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. I did quit. I did quit. I wasn't laughed at. I wasn't laughed at. And even though I quit then. Even though I quit then. Doesn't mean I have to quit now. Doesn't mean I have to quit now. Yeah. 
Is that landing? Let me know if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Even, even though. Even though. They told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. They told me I'm going to be the laughing stock. And I was not going to be laughed at. And I was not going to be laughed at. I quit. I quit. He wasn't laughed at. And wasn't laughed at. It doesn't mean I'm going to be laughed at now. It doesn't mean I'm going to be laughed at now, but they might have laughed at me for quitting. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So who would have laughed at you for quitting? You can make it up. The, the director. Okay. So the director laughed at you for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. Tell me how that feels. Is it still fear or something else? Um, that feels like shame. And zero to 10 on the shame? Eight. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? Um, upper chest. So not quite in my throat, a little bit below though. Okay. All right. Even though I feel all of the shame in my chest. Even though I feel all the shame in my chest. The director, la director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all the shame in my chest. Even though I feel all the shame in my chest. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of the shame. Even though I feel all of the shame. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. The shame in my chest. The shame in my chest. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. The shame in my chest. The shame in my chest. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. The shame in my chest. The shame in my chest. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. The shame in my chest. The shame in my chest. The director laughed at me for quitting. The director laughed at me for quitting. The shame in my chest. The shame in my chest. So I am noticing that being a pattern to quit and to... Um, <coughs> To avoid being laughed at. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I want you to tell me the director is laughing at you for quitting. How's that feeling? How's that shame? Um, not really feeling that now. Okay. So I'd give it a zero. Okay. And thinking about that, they asked you to be the laughing stock and that you would be laughed at, you must have been so bad that that's the role they gave you. How's that feeling? I'm not really connecting with that right now either. Okay. I want you to look back on your paper and your meditation and look at that and tell me how you feel about reading that. I feel like I could read it now. I don't know. You know, you might judge it, but what the hell? I could read it. Okay. So um, I'm just going to do some further testing. Ruthie, you're not going to sound anything like Dr. Joe, you know. <laughs> you are so right. <laughs> Is that okay? Um, yeah, that's a little bit humorous. Um, <laughs> is anybody going to sound like Dr. Joe? I mean, is any of us going to sound like Dr. Joe? Um, <laughs> I lost my pen. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. okay, so um, I, want you to re I want you to read it if you feel comfortable, just the first few lines, and let's just test and see how your throat is doing. Okay. I immediately felt the need to clear my throat. <clears> throat> okay. <sighs> okay, so you actually want me to read a line or two like I would in a meditation. Exactly. All right. So I want to invite you to close your eyes and take a couple deep, nourishing breaths. And just allow relaxation to flow down from your head, neck, 
shoulders, arms, hands and fingers, and at the same time down through your torso, legs, feet, all the way down to your toes, just allowing deep relaxation to flow through your body. All right, how is it? So what I'm noticing yeah. is the, uh, my voice feels scratchy again. Okay. Um, but I'm not feeling so much fear. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so tuning into that scratchiness and mm -hmm. the clearing in your throat, mm -hmm. there's something else that comes up around all of us. I don't understand the connection, but anger is the word that popped to me, popped into my mind, and I'm not finding what that's about. Okay. All right. So let's do some tapping on the tabletop and see what comes up. Okay. All right. Even though I feel this anger. Even though I feel this anger. And I don't know what the connection is. And I don't know what the connection is. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's some scratchiness. Even though there's some scratchiness. And I, it's a connection to anger. And there's a connection to anger. And I don't know what it's about. And I do know what it's about. Okay. <laughs> it's feeling judged by my brother. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I wrote down your brother earlier just as a something that popped in my mind. So judged by your brother, um, so around what? Um, back to the laughing stock thing, feeling like no matter what I do, he's going to laugh at me. Okay. And do you have an earlier incident where your brother laughed at you for something you did or something you said? Yeah, but I don't want to share the details of it. And that's fine. You know, okay. it's, a, it's a singular event. Yes. Okay. So even though, even though there's this event, there's this event. And just give me um, what you feel about it. Looking back on the event now. What's um, your anchor. Okay. And zero to 10 on the anger. It's not huge. It's about a six. Okay. And do you feel that anywhere in your body? Um, stomach and tightness in my shoulders, but it feels like, um, like readiness to fight, kind of a tightness. All right. All right. Even though I feel <clears throat> tightness in my shoulders. Even though I feel tightness in my shoulders. I'm feeling all of this anger. I'm feeling all this anger. Um, surrounding my brother in this event. Surrounding my brother in this event. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this anger in my stomach and shoulders. Even though I'm feeling all this anger in my stomach and shoulders. This readiness to fight. This readiness to fight. Just thinking about that incident and my brother. Just thinking about that incident with my brother. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this anger in my stomach and shoulders. Even though I feel all this anger in my stomach and shoulders. That incident around my brother. This incident around my brother, it feels like I need to defend myself. Okay. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This anger. This anger. This feeling like I have to defend myself. And this feeling like I have to defend myself. All this anger. All this anger. This feeling like I have to defend myself. This feeling like I have to defend myself. This anger. This anger. This anger in my shoulders. This anger in my shoulders. This feeling I have to defend myself. This feeling like I have to defend myself. All of this anger. All of this anger. This anger. This anger. Yeah, the feeling like I have to defend myself is the important part here. And the... Um, How's the anger now? Anger. Um, four. Okay. 
And is it a separate feeling I have to defend myself? No, they're related. Okay. So even though I still feel this anger? <sighs> even though I still feel this anger. At my brother. At my brother. It's feeling like I have to defend myself. It's feeling like I have to defend myself. Thinking about that event. Thinking about that event. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this anger. Even though I feel all this anger. Feeling like I have to defend myself. Feeling like I have to defend myself. This anger at my brother. This anger at my brother. Over that event. Over that event. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this anger. Even though I feel all this anger. This feeling I have to defend myself. This feeling I have to defend myself. Just thinking about that event. Just thinking about that event. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. All of this anger. All of this anger. This feeling I have to defend myself. This feeling I have to defend myself. All this anger. All this anger. Feeling I have to defend myself. Feeling I have to defend myself. All of this anger. <clears throat> All this anger. <laughs> All of this anger. All of this anger. Feeling I have to defend myself. Feeling I have to defend myself. All of this anger. All of this anger. All of this anger. All of this anger. This feeling I have to defend myself. This feeling I have to defend myself. <sighs> so I'm not really feeling angry now. Okay. I want you to really tune into that event and see if there's anything left. Not really. Mm -mm. Okay. okay. All right. Thinking about the <clears throat> meditation. Mm -hmm. And maybe your brother's going to hear it or hear about it or somebody say, hey, <laughs> you think that in her meditation series? Uh, now, needless to say, I don't generally share my work with my family at all. We're okay. on different planets. So, uh, okay. Yeah, that's an interesting thought of thinking about him ever hearing it. Okay. And <clears throat> is there any fear that he's going to judge you or say something or? Oh, yeah. I mean, he judged me. He left me a message on my uh, cell phone and left a comment about my um, voice message. You know, just, oh, brother, Ruthie with your tapping journey. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, he just even made fun of that. So. Okay. Thinking about that, what's the emotion that you're feeling? Frustration. So that's not as strong as anger, so frustration. Zero to ten? It's not even that big. I'd give it a five. Okay. Do you feel it anywhere? <laughs> in my throat. Okay. Even though I feel this frustration in my throat? Even though I feel this frustration in my throat. He judged my voicemail. He, he judged my voicemail. He said, oh, brother. He said, oh, brother. And I deeply, completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this frustration in my throat. Even though I feel this frustration in my throat. He was judging my voicemail. He was judging my voicemail. He said, oh, brother. He said, oh, brother. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this frustration in my throat. Even though I feel this frustration in my throat. He judged my voicemail message. He judged my voicemail message. He said, oh, brother. He said, oh, brother. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. He judged my voicemail message. He judged my voicemail message. All this frustration. All this frustration. This frustration in my throat. This frustration in my throat. He said, oh, brother. He said, oh, brother. All this frustration. <sighs> All this frustration. This frustration in my throat. This frustration in my throat. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. This frustration in my throat. This frustration in my throat. He judged my voicemail message. He judged my voicemail message. <laughs> okay. It makes me think about the family dynamic and will we ever play different roles? I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Is there still frustration over that one time when he left you that message? It doesn't feel very important. No. 
Okay. Maybe a one. Okay. All right. So how are you feeling about reading that meditation, looking it over? How does it feel now? I think I could do it. Is there anything it more comfortable? Anything going on in your throat? Um, not not right at the moment actually i was thinking about the fact that i've had two or three people tell me that they like my meditations because they find my voice very calming okay okay so let's wrap this up okay so even though there might be some more to do <sighs> so even though there might be some more to do around this issue i can acknowledge the work i've done on it so far I can acknowledge the work that I've done on it so far. Even though there's more work to do on this. Even though there's more work to do on this. There might be some other events to work on. There might be some other events to work on. Um, I can acknowledge the work I've done today. I can acknowledge the work I've done today. Even though I still might have something to work on. Even though I might still have something to work on. Around being judged. Around being judged. Um, there's a part of me that can acknowledge. There is a part of me that can acknowledge. That I might not be doing such a bad job. That I might not be doing such a bad job. If people said that my voice is calming. That people said that my voice is calming. Yeah, people say that my voice is calming. People say that my voice is calming. I've gotten that acknowledgement. I have gotten that acknowledgement. And there might be some more to do around this judging thing. And there might be some more to do around this judging thing. But I'm feeling okay. But I am feeling okay. Maybe I don't have to make it perfect. Maybe I don't have to make it perfect. Maybe it's just going to sound like me. Maybe it's just going to sound like me. Maybe without all the scratchiness. <laughs> Maybe without all the scratchiness. I am feeling better about it. I am feeling better about it. I am feeling more confident. I am feeling more confident. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Cool. So I would say there's probably some other things, you know, connected to that theme that we just opened up at the end, but um, good work. Excellent. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you.